Moses, one of the things I noticed in the life of Moses was that Moses started his life with the voice of God. Moses was somebody who always heard God. Always heard God. If you read Exodus 3, you read chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 14, 15, 16, up to 17. All those 14 chapters. If you study from verse 1, maybe to verse 40, verse 1 to verse 30, verse 1 to verse 27, verse 1 to verse 29, verse 1 to verse 36, of all the different chapters, you discover that more than half of the chapter says the Lord said to Moses, 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 the Lord said to Moses. God spoke to Moses a lot. If you read Exodus chapter 4, verse 15, he said, I will show you what thou shalt say. God was talking to Moses. Let me ask you a question. Do you see words? Do you see words? words what you see do you see it there's a level you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and it become picture you start seeing it why because you are seeing it as you are hearing it from the lord in first samuel chapter 3 verse 9 what made samuel outstanding was the voice of god speak lord for thy servant hear it from the one from the one what made paul outstanding what made Paul outstanding was the voice of God Acts chapter 9 verse 6 actually we start from verse 5 Jesus was introducing himself when he got to verse 6 he said what would you have me to do what is your assignment for me but started from verse 5 when the Lord said to him Acts chapter 9 he said the Lord said to him imagine the first thing the Lord said to him I am jesus and he said who art thou and the lord said to him i am jesus who thou persecutest i am the lord said to him the lord said to him when moses sent over to joshua the first thing god did in joshua chapter one is and the lord said to joshua as i was with moses so will i be with you verse one now after the death of moses the servant of the lord it came to pass the lord that the lord spake unto joshua the son of Nun. When Moses died, God spake to Joshua. Now, you are going to see when... Okay, let me show you something. Let me give you a... <laughs> Go to Judges. This, that's Joshua 1.1, 1, 1, right? Let me show you something now. I will leave you to make the, the experiment. Joshua 1.1. 1, 1. He said, now after the death of Moses, re, listen to this. The servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. Did you see that? Did you see that? After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Did you see that? Judges 1, verse 1. Judges chapter 1, verse 1. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass, the children of Israel asked the Lord. Who shall go up against the Canaanites first? Joshua 1.1 1, 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, the Lord spake to Joshua. Judges 1.1 1, 1. After the death, I came to pass after the death of Joshua. The children of the Lord, children of Israel, asked the Lord. One heard from the Lord. One asked the Lord. Before Moses died, he impacted somebody when Joshua died he impacted nobody so Moses impacted you so Joshua had God Joshua impacted nobody so the people asked God but that's not the point I'm picking up the point I'm picking up is most Joshua got direction because he had God the people were in confusion because they don't hear God he didn't hear God. Moses' strength was that he heard the voice of God. Continually, regularly. 
Isaiah 53 verse 11 he shall see this travail of his soul and be satisfied the pain that Jesus would, would, have, would have gone through Jesus went through it and satisfied God so I can go through it so it doesn't matter what I'm experiencing what I'm seeing what is happening to me right now it's not what the word of God says because I have had God now don't forget I told you hearing the voice of God is different dimension you can hear God in your spirit man you can hear God audibly that's a different way to hear God but in case you are not in that category the easiest way to hear God is to hear his word If you want to hear the voice of God, read the word of God. When you read God, read God, read God, very soon you will hear God. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5, every word of God is pure. Verse 6 say, add not to it, let his, lest he reprove thee and thou be found to be a liar. Add not to it, lest when he reprove you, you are found to be there's no way i can't hear god no way because i read god hear god one of the biggest problems that we have is that people want to cut corners you want to hear the voice of god addicted 